7615 um, a gentleman named Mark if I remember uh, he wanted me to do an update he asked me to do an update on it so just to let you know how it's operated since I've had it um, and what I can tell you is that because he's looking to get one all that I can say is just get it all right I have it's been absolutely totally reliable I think I think, if I can remember rightly, I might have had one, that's loose. I might have had one malfunction, I think, in that whole period of time, which is, it's not many. Um, so, if you are thinking about getting one of these, the Remington 7615 pump in 223, just go out and get it. You're not going to regret it. Um, I put the the Magpul SGA stock on it. Now, I did, I've got another Magpul SGA stock that I, if, you're, if you've seen my video, other videos, rust, um, that I butchered, I didn't butcher it, but you know, I, um, I altered it to fit because this is a 20 gauge action. It's an eight, it's essentially a, a, an 870 20 gauge action with a magwell yeah, and a 223 barrel added onto it. Um, well, obviously, you know, the case head is different to a shoddy case head, but um, Magpul used to make the SGA stock for the 20 gauge. They don't, well, I don't know. I haven't looked recently, but when I looked, they, and I went on their website and they didn't make it anymore. Um, so that is how I found out the hard way was that uh, Mesa Tactical make an adapter all right, a steel, it's a steel adapter. It it looks like it's, I don't know, I don't think it's forged, I think it's cast, because um, I had to do a bit of grinding to get it to fit properly, but, you know, it wasn't a lot. So, and I've, if you're, if you're I don't know, short to medium height, um, you should be all right with the stock, with the, with the stock that comes with it. It is pretty crap, but... It's, it's really short. Um, I've actually got six spaces in this SGA stock. Now, you know, it's an extremely accurate rifle for what it is, you know, 16 inch sporter barrel. It's an extremely accurate rifle, very reliable, and it's designed to handle both 223 and 556. Yes, there is a difference. Um, not a lot, but there is a difference, and not all chambers will chamber both. I yeah, so, but it was originally designed for the law enforcement, so you would expect it to be a, you know, pretty rugged, and it is, it is, it's a fantastic rifle. I highly recommend anyone who's thinking about getting one of these, get it. I think in the whole time I've had it, shooting it, I've had maybe, I think I might have had one, if I remember rightly, one extraction malfunction. And I can't remember if that actually happened or if I'm just imagining it, but um, it's extremely reliable. It's, you know, it's tried and proven. Um, now, I've not, I, I did want to get a, um, a 7600 in 270, you know, the wood with the wood stock uh, with the long barrel. Uh, I couldn't get them when I wanted it. Um, but actually these days I'm sort of heading further towards 30 odd six because ever since getting that ha second hand Hauer in 30 odd six, yeah, I really like it. It's no, the recoil isn't any worse than the 270, like really, in my opinion, I anyway, I can't, in fact, I think the t that, that 30 odd six Hauer, the recoil is actually a bit less. For whatever reason, I don't know, maybe uh, the ge geometry or the pad or whatever. But in any case, I am I probably will later on down the track get a 7600 in 30-06. 
Uh, Mark wanted to get one in. Th- was looking to get one in three hundred eight. Yeah, because with the three hundred eights, um, you know, they, they've got a box magazine. Uh, so, um, or you can get extended box magazines for the three hundred eight. Um, so, in you know, you can just get one. You won't regret it. I mean, I've not literally not had a problem with this. You know, and there's a fair few parts in it, so yeah, just go out and get one. I think they're fantastic, really. I mean, there's really, Mark, there's really not much more I can say. You know, it's it functions great, it works great, it's really accurate. Like for a stubby little rifle, that's the as far as barrel length is concerned. That's if I was compared to the the accuracy of that to, to all the other rifles that I've got. In relation to the barrel length, that would probably win. <laughs> no joke. Now, as well, I'm going to do a recommendation on this: the Adler Straight Pull. Now, I did have an issue with Remington, uh, some Remington shot shells. Um, so I, I mentioned that to the gunsmith that they were get they were jamming. He had a look at the chamber and said, "Yeah, that chamber needs polishing." He polished the chamber. Since he polished it, and like it's like glass now, since he polished it, I've been able to put everything I wanted to through this, like anything, three inch shelves, everything, you name it. The only issue that I have is that that, that iron sight is out, all right? It's, yeah, it's not mounted straight. Um, yeah, this thing shoots to the left. Those iron sights. If you use the iron sights, it shoots to the left. For a shotgun, not a huge big deal, but I've got the Red Dot, Red Dot. <laughs> yeah, Red Dot brand, Red Dot. And it's three color. It's red, green, and blue. It's only, it was only 100 bucks Australian at my local gun shop. You know, and I thought, oh yeah, I'll, as soon as I put some three inch mags, magnums through it, it'll probably just fall into a hundred pieces. Well, guess what? No, um, it's held up. It still works. It's, uh, it, um, yeah, I think, I don't know where it's made or who made it's, uh, probably China. Yeah, I think it's made in China, but hey, that thing is working fine. Um, this stock, I'm not a huge fan of. Um, I'd like to put what I'm thinking of doing is grafting that other SGA onto this. I've, I have mentioned that. Um, it is a bit of work, but I really want to do it because uh, it deserves good. It's not the stock's not too bad. You know, it's not too bad. And it's a good gun. It comes with sling swivels, and the uh, it's pretty easy to maintain. You know, it's quite simple. The action is quite simple. I mean, there is um. So yeah, as opposed to the to the lever actions, which are quite complicated and long linkages that bend and aren't straight, and, uh, you know, just forget about the lever actions. As far as I'm concerned, get one of these. Um, I did get it over the Dickinson for two reasons: number one, the price, and number two. Uh, if I remember rightly, I don't think the Dickens, the one that I had a look at, it didn't, it didn't lock back on the on the last round. So you fire, like, so if that that was empty, once you fired it, it locks back, so you know it's empty. Um, with the dicky, unless you're count, you know, if you're in the thick of it, you know, blasting away at a mob of pigs, you're not going to realise you're empty until it just stops shooting. Uh, yeah, so highly recommend this. This is the all weather. No, I highly recommend that too. Yeah. Uh, the receiver is alloy. You know, the barrel's obviously. It's, yeah, stop recording again. Um, like I was saying, I, I had a look at the Dickinson. Um, I got this over the Dickinson because this is like, I don't know, two, three hundred dollars cheaper, about three hundred bucks cheaper, and uh, it locks back on the last round on empty. It locks back on empty, and the Dickinson that I had a look at didn't. Now, whether they all don't, or I don't know, but uh, 
I highly recommend this. I think it's the best value shotgun, repeater shotgun that you can get. And the the 7615 uh, is yeah, it, it's a because here in Australia it's very very hard to get a um a semi semi auto semi fire semi auto license or semi semi auto license. Um, that's I think that's D class. Uh, unless you've got um, a fair bit of land, if you're a, in a rural area with a whole heap of land. You can get it then, um, even though they're making it more difficult. Uh, well, apparently that's what I've heard. Um, so this is about as close to a, an AR-15 that most Australian, ordinary Australians can get. And because originally, what, like I said, it was designed for law enforcement, so it is rugged. And uh, so for a shit hits the fan situation, um, my toss up is, I'd probably, I'd probably grab this just because of the, the chambering, even though, you know, the Australian military and that do use 308 and 308 is, is prolific, but you, you can carry a lot more ammunition with 223 and, um, yeah, so this is probably my SHTF gun, go to gun. So Mark. If you're thinking, if you want my advice, buy it. You're not going to regret it. It's, it really is a great little rifle. I love it. So that's pretty much all I've got to say. So until next time, see you later.